Hey guys, so I'm here with Nina Clark, and once again, we keep meeting all over the place. I know, we Don't meet we? in the strangest England, of places. Argentina, <laughs> now we're here at Grand Champions in Florida, and we are going to talk about something very exciting, the Hurley and Polo 1875 collaboration. Exactly, yeah. First, I want to hear more about your polo life. Mm -hmm. How did it all start? What was your like biggest inspiration growing up? What made you like really feel like, I want to be a polo player? Um, well, I started really young when I was about six in the Pony Club in England, um, which was really just good fun and playing with, with the local Pony Club. Um, my father always said that I never hit the ball till I was about 10 or 11, but I had a lot of fun <laughs> up until then anyway. Um, and I just, you know, I have memories of, you know, in the summer holidays and whatever, playing playing polo with friends, doing the Pony Club, and just that's sort of where I guess the, the love of the polo started. It was very much a family thing, we all played together. Um, and then when I was about 14 I started playing club polo um, and getting a bit more serious and then I turned professional when I left university. Excellent. And what does the polo life kind of mean to you? What is it, you know, what's so special about it? What keeps you going? Well, the, I think the great thing about polo is there's so many things, you know, I love the horses, um, I love the speed of the game, I love the excitement the sort of necessary skill needed, but I also love the fact that it's very much a family, um, a family sport, you can, you can all play together, um, and I love the friends and the, and the sort of relationships and the contacts that I've made through it, and I think that the whole thing just makes it such a, such a wonderful, unique um, sport to be involved in. Yeah, the meeting up all over the world. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is half of it. So, and now, this very exciting collaboration with Hurling and Polo 1875, mm -hmm. and of course it's a British brand, but they want to be international, so perfect. Perfect. Well, no, I'm, it's something that I'm really excited about, um, and when I was approached, I just, you know, I couldn't say yes fast enough. Um, I think it's a fantastic idea, um, really great brand, really good clothes, um, so I'm thrilled to, to be a part of it. But, you know, for me, it's fantastic because, as you say, you know, they, they are absolutely British and authentically British, and, and that's me, but I do spend my spend my time traveling around. Um, I live half the year in New Zealand um, and then travel. This year we've done um, Argentina, America, I'm going to Barbados, um, Dubai, Abu Dhabi. So, you know, get, getting Exciting. around, lots yeah, of, getting lots around of a bit, playing lots of polo and it's, it's amazing. I've seen some fantastic places this year and, you know, I haven't been to um, Abu Dhabi before so it was lovely to go there. Done Australia, so it's been really, really good fun. Where is your favorite place to play polo? And you can't say home. <laughs> well, that's difficult because I've got to. No, um, no, well, my, any of your homes then. <laughs> any of my homes, yeah. Well, obviously, I love playing polo in um, in both England and New Zealand, and I think once you're set up there and with your own horses, um, you get a bit spoiled, and you, you yeah. know the horses so well, you know all the fields very well. So obviously, it's easy to say to say there. Um, elsewhere, playing um, playing in Grangula in Australia was fantastic. The fields are absolutely beautiful. Um, and I have to say, coming here, I've always really enjoyed playing here. Um, I came probably about 15 years ago and played um, with Tiffany Bush. Mm -hmm. And then the last time I was here was six years ago where I came here to Grand Champions to play an international England against America. Um, and I loved it, you know, the fields are great, the ponies are fantastic. Um, and I'm very spoiled by coming here because the Gansies look after me so well and give me great ponies. Um, and then, um, last year in November, going to Argentina and playing um, the first women's open there, yeah, winning the Paloma, that was just yeah, that yeah, was I brilliant. That. I hadn't <laughs> been I hadn't been to Argentina for probably six years, um, but going there to the setup with Dolfo and um, getting such good horses from him and through Brava and it was just yeah, fantastic. Um, and so probably both here and, and Argentina, I would say. Let's talk a little bit about polo clothing. Obviously, Hurlingham Polo 1875 is focusing on the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The polo player, whites and team kits and all that, but how is your polo style? How is it on the field? Oh, clothing yeah, style. I mean, on, on the, the field, field obviously with the whites and the team shirts, and I think, you know, they're doing some really smart ones. We're just putting together a, a really nice sort of women's whites. Um, which will be which will be great, and I'm looking forward to being able to wear those because I think you know we can be quite. I'm very specific about what I like to wear, mm -hmm. and comfort is important. But also, being able to move and you know get everything you need out of out of that is important. Um, 
off the field because I spend a lot of my time riding or working around the horses I'm very much a sort of jeans and t-shirt kind of <laughs> um, but having again you know the active wear and the um, comfort comfortable um, riding jeans good t-shirts nice hoodies good sweaters I, I love and I can't wait for the for the new stuff to come out which will be you know the, the sort of next level with really good beautiful quality shirts and yeah Jackets. The, the, the lightweight waistcoats are my favourite. Um, yeah. I wear mine all the time. I love it. Same. And this one. Oh yeah, those are brilliant, aren't they? They're so good. I'm really comfortable. They are. They're yeah. amazing. So you're here right now to play in the women's polo. Yep. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. Since I first started playing ladies polo, which would have been sort of 20 years ago, um, it's changed so much and really just every year getting better and better. And, and as it gets better, we all get better and the quality of the, the girls coming through and the future talent is all really exciting to, to watch and see these new developments. And it's just really got a, got a great momentum and is developing and growing really fast. And, and it's just a really exciting time and I really hope that we can keep this sort of momentum and movement moving forward um, and having the support of you know people like the Gansies putting on um, tournaments like this just means that the level's going to just keep on growing. So it's very exciting. Excellent. It definitely is. We'll be seeing lots more. Definitely. Exciting. Lots more and I think you know there's a lot a lot going on to try and keep moving it forward and get the calendars um, sort of synchronised around the world so that these professionals can go and travel from country to country without there being too much of an overlap. So you get the best players in the in the in the right country at the right mm. time playing the best tournament. And you know, and that's something that I met with um, Dawn Jones yesterday, and it's something she's really pushing to move forward and get a good calendar in place. And I think it's a really great idea so yeah. that we can get the benefit of such beautiful grounds here, you know, Grand Champions and around the world that we can play good polo and keep yeah. it moving forward. Definitely getting it more international to get everyone around the world involved, everyone playing on, against each other, with each other. Everyone on the same page, exactly. That's what and all about. Exactly. And it means we can all travel together, we can all play together, and it just gives everyone the best chance of being able to make the best tournaments. Yes, definitely. Well, lots of exciting stuff coming up. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing it all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.